Have you ever been playing nine ball and ended up with the wrong angle on the eight? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you seven powerful pool shots that most players just don't know. And these are the kind of shots that you go to when nothing else will work. Hello, I'm Master Instructor Anthony Beeler, and thanks for tuning in to another episode of Do You Want to Play Like a Pro? This week, I'm proud to announce that we have over 5,000 subscribers. And as promised, I have opened up my entry form on my website so you can register for our big giveaway when we reach 10,000 subscribers. We're going to be giving away cues, we're going to be giving away books, we're going to be giving away pool lessons. And so what you need to do is be sure to go to my website, poolteacher.com, and register for our giveaway. It won't be long because we're adding 500 to 1,000 subscribers per week and 10,000 just around the corner. So be sure to like, subscribe, visit poolteacher.com and register for our big giveaway. In this lesson, we're gonna be looking at seven powerful shots that every pool player should know. These are the kind of shots that you go to when you're in a jam and nothing else is there. So without further ado, let's look at shot number one. Sometimes you'll be playing in a game of nine ball and you'll end up with the wrong angle on the eight. In this instance, my cue ball is aimed at this cushion. And if I strike it with running English, the cue ball will die off the end rail and not make it back up here for the night. The correct shot is to use reverse English. When the cue ball strikes this rail, it will have reverse on it. But when it strikes this cushion, it'll have running English on it. And the running English will carry the cue ball three rails around the table for position on the nine. Okay, the next shot that we're going to look at is shot number two, and that's called the reverse pull. And this is a shot that comes up in in-game situations when the cue ball and the nine ball or the eight ball, you know, are, are both near the end cushion here. And uh, you'll see players have this shot, and they've got to shoot that ball, and they'll reach or they'll get the bridge, and they'll foul. A better shot is to use the reverse pull. And what we do here is we'll just put the butt of the cue, uh, we'll lay it on the table, and we'll take two fingers near the uh, ferrule of the cue and two more fingers a little further back, and we just pull. That's all we have to do is just pull. And you can see how accurate this is. Now it's frozen, so my opponent would have trouble, but. But you can see what kind of a fine touch you can develop using this technique. It's very powerful for in-game situations. These types of in-game situations come up all the time, and you need this trick in your bag of tools when the shot arises. Okay, shot number three is the double kiss combination. And this shot comes up all the time and people don't know what to do with it. And this is one of the simplest shots in the world to execute. All you have to do is draw a line from the center of the one through the contact point on this ball that you'd like to strike. And uh, when you get down to shoot it, use low spin on the cue ball and the one will hit the rail and kick the cue ball back into the balls that you're aiming at. So, you know, this is the spot we gotta hit. Low spin. And you'll make that shot 10 out of 10 times if you work on it. Okay, shot number four is the double kiss rail jump. And I know you've probably seen this shot where that a player's blocked by balls and they just jump the cue ball into the rail and over the balls. 
but a lot of people don't know that you can shoot a kiss shot on the lowest number ball over there and still jump it over the balls to make the nine. So let me see if I can demonstrate that. It's the same kind of hit, except all you're doing in this instance is you're, you're jumping into the top side of the one and then it's gonna kick it back over top of the balls to make the two nine combo. Just like that. Okay, the next shot we're gonna look at is the rail first safety. And I've got a red strike ball here placed where the ghost ball would be. Or in, or in other words, where that I would want my cue ball to strike the one. I'm wanting to go rail first, hit the right side of the one, the cue ball goes down table and the one comes up on this end rail, possibly even behind one of these two balls. That's just a bonus if we get that. But to measure this, measure from the center of the ghost ball back to the rail, which is like right here. This is my point right here. And then I pull this back again from the rail. You'll note that right here is where that I'd need to strike, roughly right at this diamond here, that line. So now all I'm gonna do is get down, strike right at that spot, with maybe just a half a tip of right. You'll see I hit that shot perfectly. The one ball stays on the end rail and the cue ball goes down table. That shot's really good to know when it comes up all the time. Okay, the next shot we're gonna look at is a jump bank. And this shot came up several years ago when I was playing Larry Price in the finals of the Q Sports International Midnight Madness Tournament at the Q Olympics. And uh, Larry had me hooked behind a couple of balls. The, the uh, five and nine were laying near the side. And the only thing that I can do is try to play a jump bank. And a jump bank combo with that. But let me see if I can demonstrate uh, the correct way to make a jump bank. And that shot's a lot easier than it might appear. I like to call this next shot the Rifleman Special because I saw Buddy Hall shoot this shot on Nick Varner about five times during one match. And I kept thinking that he was trying to pocket the ball and he was getting lucky by playing safe. But in reality, Buddy knew exactly what he was doing. He was playing the shot rail first, sending the cue ball back up table the one was hitting this cushion and then back over to the middle of the end rail and he was returning the save to Nick, just like Nick left him. So let me see if I can demonstrate. And that's a perfect example of the Rifleman Special. The one ball's in the middle of the table, down on that end, the cue ball's back down here. And you'll notice in this instance, I got lucky and I put him behind some balls. Thanks again for tuning in to another episode of Do You Want to Play Like a Pro? I hope you've enjoyed this video on seven powerful pool shots every player should know. Take the shots outlined in this video and work on them. Most of the shots aren't as difficult to execute as you would think. Knowing is half the battle. Just knowing the shot is there and it's available to be played. On the jump shots, I do want to give you one helpful hint. A lot of players, when they go to jump, they try to underarm that. If you're a shorter player, if you're not basketball player height, then it's much easier when you go to jump to sidearm those jump shots. It'll allow you to elevate much quicker and it's much easier to execute that way. Don't forget to like and to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to go to poolteacher.com and register for our 10,000 subscriber giveaway. Thanks again for watching and I hope everyone has a great week. It's just one of those amazing classes that uh, you can never forget. It's one of those classes that can really get you going where you want to go with the game. It's the best online course on pool out there.
It's been really cool working with Anthony from home. I've already learned so much. I love the course. It is easy to use and available 24-7, which fits well with my busy schedule. Luckily, I stumbled upon Anthony Bueller's online courses, so I signed up. And within three or four months, my game had improved dramatically. It will definitely improve your game. When I did go back to the regional tournament, finally after seven years, I got first place. They bumped me up to the next division. I went back the following year. I got first place in that division the first year. I can't say highly enough how much Anthony's courses have helped me and I have no doubt they will help you too. If you do have any questions, he's available on the phone calls. He answers your questions very quickly. Uh, someone asked me about Anthony Biller's Virtual Bigger Academy class. Go all the way.